So this is a response to Daniel. Uh, apologies for the poor quality of the video. Um, sound might be shit. Kind of new to YouTube videos, so still kind of going through the logistics and stuff. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make a response to your video. Sorry, it's late as well. Um, I guess I'm just the kind of guy who's behind. Not hip and trend like some, but uh, it's neither here nor there. So he made this video, Greed of America's Happiness, um, which kind of made the argument that greed and uh, material possession in America has kind of become this, this value system, if you like. It's the most important thing to Americans, sure. Um, and this is a bad thing, and it should be replaced by another moral alternative, I suppose. Um, and I agree with you. I, I agree with what you're saying. But I guess uh, the issue or concern I had with the video was you were kind of, well, it seemed to me like you were blaming people. It seemed to me like you were saying, well, this is an individual's problem. This is not a systematic problem. It's not something that is kind of beyond the control of, of people, of agency. So I kind of wanted to maybe ask the question to you and answer it in this video. Uh, exactly why America is apparently so greedy and why this is a, um, a value system basically. So to kind of answer this question I need to delve into a bit of European and American history which uh, is always fun, sorry if that does bore you, but it's kind of integral to my point so I'll go on. Um, so Europe, Europe during medieval times up until let's just say American Revolution because then I'll start talking about the American Revolution um, had a pretty stratified system of relationship, of social and political power. You had peasants who took land, and you had landowners and aristocrats and all that kind of thing. Now, in a society like that, if you want to talk about it, psychology, psychology of the people, you generally have people who, while living in very poor socioeconomic conditions, were very accepting of those conditions because they were born into a system that basically promoted the idea that that was natural, that that was something which occurred naturally. And that's reinforced by institutions like the church um, and basically for everyday life. And if you kind of looked around as a peasant back then and you saw that there were other people, other peasants, who were living just as shit as you were, well, you kind of came to accept that that's how life was. And you develop a psychology of, not complacency, but of, of content, almost, of, of acceptance of what you're doing. So, yeah, you have this sort of general contentment with how conditions were, even though they were incredibly poor com compared to our standards today, to the American Constitution. So we have this very new, fantastic idea of liberty and equality between individuals, um, political rights, uh, are based on these ideas of equality and liberty. And um, you have a very different psychology in a system like this. Um, because if you're looking around and you know on a theoretical basis and it's been reinforced from the day you were born that you are equal to everyone who is around you and yet people are materially better off than you, there must be something wrong. So people start to, to ask questions, what, what's going on here? And the way the American system is set up, besides promoting these formal ideas of equality, of political rights and things like this, is enforces this idea that it's the individual's responsibility to achieve things in their life. So, of course, the person who is failing in their endeavour, failing to get material wealth like their other equals, people who are apparently their other equal, they say, well, it must be something wrong with me. It must be an issue... It is wrong with me, I must not be working hard enough, um, I must not be putting my, enough effort in, things like this. Um, the way human psychology works is we don't judge ourselves to our superiors, we judge, it, we judge ourselves compared to those who are equal to us, those who we think we are the same as. Um, and there's this great documentary, um, I'm going to put it in the description box if I can find it, um, which basically delves into this idea of why Americans cannot satisfy their, their material desires, even though compared to 
third world countries, or as I've said, medieval Europe, they have so much more. Um, so I'm going to put that in the description box, and I like to watch documentaries, so maybe you'll, you'll watch. So I guess I should bring it back to this point of, of greed, greed as America's happiness. Well, I mean, you're right. Greed is essentially an attempt to fill the void in our hearts um, with material objects. But the real reason we desire those material objects and the reason we have that void in our hearts is because we have a system, a political system, that is based around a false dichotomy of you are equal. And in fact, we're not really in a lot of ways. Certainly politically we are in a lot of ways, but economically we're not. But that is, of course, another video. Um, so I guess we really have to look for different solutions than just sort of appealing to, you know, the, the individual behind the, uh, the YouTube on the, the, uh, the computer screen. Um, and we have to sort of look at more systematic answers. We have to look at sort of really bringing to light what it is that is making us like this. So that's kind of my two cents on the issue, my point of view. Um, yeah, keep making videos, man. Um, I really like your content. I've been watching you for a really long time now. I definitely think you should delve more into political stuff, even though I don't I'm more sort of left-wing, I know you said you're kind of middle, but still like to hear your thoughts, so please keep them up in the future, thanks.